quilts in Portland, Oregon. The grounds are alive with beautiful flowers that have bloomed because of the wet winter season that Portland um, experienced. And there's a gazebo and gardens, different little gardens around the homestead. The two buildings are connected by a breezeway that holds some sale items and also connects the classroom to the main shop. So let's go in and check it out. I love the sashing on this quilt, little wool squares. And there's a little Sue Spargo stitching. I'm going to have to remember how to do that caterpillar. He's adorable. This shop is filled with many kits, lots of variety of fabrics. They've got the new bee line. And pretty much when you look around, there's something for everyone, especially for us woolly addicts. Robin and I had a fun time shopping here. We're going to be making eggs this year. There's lots of Sue Spargo's projects and her thread is here and also uh, Bonnie Sullivan, Debbie Busby, lots of local designers and there's our buttermilk basin mats. Also Crabapple Hill, Kathy Schmidt, Yoko Saito, Heart in My Hand. You really have lots of choices in this shop. And the wovens and diwabos. This is the place to shop for those background fabrics. They have a lot, wide variety of fabrics and a lot of different projects one could make, not only quilting. Just so you know, anytime you see something that you really want to take a closer look at, you can always stop this video and take a close look at something. For me, walking around and, and videoing while I'm shopping is sometimes distracting. There are just samples galore in this shop and inspiration around every turn. Their wool is absolutely gorgeous, and you don't have to buy the whole piece. So if you see a, a color or a piece that you really like, they'll cut off a fat eighth, fat quarter, half yard, yard, whatever size piece you want in those increments. If you see something on this video, you can call them up, refer to the video, and say, I want that. love those oranges and fall colors. I did come away with a few pieces of wool. It's hard to walk away or turn your back on this selection.
so many wool projects, so many kits. The end of gathering this mat is really beautiful. Well, Robin almost got that pack. They carry a nice selection of those needle minders and thread, uh, my, uh, thread helpers. And those uh, little thread uh, threaders are also magnetic. One can never have too many pin cushions. Patched and patched. So you can see walking around this shop is one of those places that you would kind of wear out the carpet as you go around and around and around. Right next to the wool, you've got some brights and moderns and K facets and tulip paints. And then there's something for the person who loves Civil War or primitive. some wild tie-dye wool. And I found this fabric very fascinating. It's like a painting. I'm not sure I could cut it up. And below that, you've got your indigos. So you can tell there's so much There's such variety. And look at the flowers blooming. I guess this winter was worth it. Pioneer Quilts also carries a huge variety of thread and colors. DMC, Weeks Dye Works, Girl Cotton. And since they have a lot of Crab Apple Hill projects, those Weeks Dye Works are great. And look at these adorable circles that have been spargoed out. Hmm, wonder if Endo are interested. Here we're heading back to the sale section and Robin's been cutting the fabric. This is on the classroom side of the building. So they hold workshops here 
and they have um, events. I think it would be really fun to come up here and, and take a class or go to one of their events. And outside every window, you are looking at the beautiful historic farm. And it must be really distracting when you're sitting in the classroom. Here's the original kitchen. There's a project I still have on my to-do list. I don't know. It's beautiful on the inside. It's beautiful on the outside. What a perfect spot for a quilt shop. Next, we headed to Acorn and Threads, my very favorite cross-stitch shop. Of course, it's the only cross-stitch shop that I, uh, I uh, know about in the Portland area, but it is filled with just as many inspiring projects. When you walk in, the samples are just all over the place. You want to do them all. And it's a wide variety of genre, from traditional samplers to cutesy, to primitive, seasonal. And the thread, the thread selection is way out of this world. This shop is located in uh, Portland, Beaverton area, off of Shoals Ferry Road, and is well worth the trip when you're in the Portland area. There's a project I made. You know, and some of this thread can also be used for your wool projects. They have a great selection of buttons that go with these cross stitch uh, patterns and you can order the frames that these examples are in. There's the acorn that I mounted on my sewing box. This project is adorable. They have a huge um, selection of linen types that you can choose and Ida cloth so you can decide what size you would like to stitch on. Also needles and um, glasses. I found that as I love to cross stitch on linen that I need a little stronger glass to wear while I'm stitching. Look at that linen selection and colors. And truly, they are so helpful because if you don't find the color you want, they'll order it for you. And anything you see in this video, and remember, you can stop 
this video, pause it anytime you want to take a closer look. But anything you see here, they will order it for you and mail it to your home. All hail the Queen! I almost got that one, but I chose something different. Well, we had a wonderful time at this cross-stitch shop. Although we didn't have a lot of time, we both found projects that we wanted to do. And I know that I'll be going back because there are several there that are still calling my name. Acorns and Threads is the place to go for cross-stitch. <laughs>